going to palpate the supraspinatus. So the supraspinatus originates in the supraspinous fossa in the superior part of the shoulder. And the way we're going to find that attachment is we're going to just flat hand palpate <clears throat> the spine of the scapula. And if you rock back and forth, you can feel the ridge of the spine of that scapula. And it's very, very prominent and it continues all the way out here to the acromion process. So medial, we're going to find the spine of the scapula and we're going to sink deep into that supraspinous fossa, okay? The supraspinatus is deep to muscles like the upper trapezius, so we do have to go through those fibers. But you can feel right in that fossa there, you can feel the depression of the fossa, and you can feel it sort of taper off as you move laterally. Supraspinatus is going to come and move laterally and anteriorly, and it's going to attach here on the greater trochanter. And to find that, you're going to scoop underneath the front of the shoulder and you'll feel the bony ridge of the humerus and it's that most lateral rounded sort of rough point here that is the greater tubercle right there. So the supraspinatus muscle actually does the first five degrees of abduction of the shoulder. So I'm going to lay my uh, partner's arm alongside of her body here and I'm going to find again that spine of the scap and I'm going to just sink in just gently here with all of my fingers and then I'm gonna have my client or my partner resist abduction just at the beginning of it so just resist perfect and I can feel that pop up just all right along there <clears throat>